the first part of the morning looking for a permit to film the BRT project which we were not successful not because they didn't give us the permit but because the process is too long basically just stayed here one night it is a home we already feel at home don't we yes. Tony don't we yes we do it's crazy. yeah we do so um, we need you coming you come into the kitchen which is an open kitchen I love the I love the color it makes it look very classy you have everything provided for you there's a table here where you can have your breakfast there's another table there but we are going there you have a cooker microwave fridge all the kitchen necessities that you need culturally um these are plates um these are cooking stuff i'm not sure if it's the host some who, supplies could be someone yeah. that left them there or could be the host who bought them who's providing the host. them yeah but yeah then there are some pots 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 then i realized that the water is not salty like mombasa water i haven't drunk it mm. i've been drinking i've not drunk it either but when you're brushing your teeth you can oh. notice yeah Mongolia much. So, so we already have that addition there is water flowing, um, some, it's called a, an electric kettle, coffee maker, toaster. Yeah. You're into that stuff. Nice little kitchen with everything that you need. And then you walk from the kitchen and come into the living room. The living area, I love this makes me want to do it for my home right and then there's a TV the couches and this little place this little table here that you can use to do your work <laughs> yeah so we have this little table here that we will be using to work and as well that you can use that to work as well and then i love this i love this where she's placed flowers and our host provided some wine for us what a nice host this place does not exactly have a balcony but we have this we have we have this can we call it a window? We have two for them. Okay, come in. Yeah, the BRC is right outside. The BRC station is right outside. So bedrooms oh exactly Tony is showing me a detail that I am forgetting we have a fan we have fans in each room and we have an AC that is working perfectly and they are all included in the same price Mombasa hosts hear this yes, by the way. 
Yes. Because they always make mm. you like Mombasa they charge is they charge is 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 um, we have Wi-Fi. Do we have Wi-Fi? We kinda have it. So we kinda have Wi-Fi. We're using a car, Wi-Fi, a little Wi-Fi here that is supposed to be loaded with bundles, but some, for some reason today we we woke up and we don't have internet. But the host said she's installing. I'm not sure if you guys can see me. I feel like there's not good lighting there. So the host said she will be providing some internet today. She will be installing Wi-Fi today, so we hope to have some internet when we come back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this place is a two bedroom, so we have two bedroom, one on my left and one on my right. We start with the one on the right. Tell them, so there is the bed. There is a wardrobe. There is a nice mirror. I love the length of the mirror, the size of the mirror. And then this is a master and suite bedroom. So there is a there is a bathroom over here. That's it. That's it with the first bedroom, basically. Then come to the other bedroom. So uh, this is the other bedroom. But before you get into this bedroom, there is the common bathroom and toilets. have provided a washing machine for you to do your laundry there is the second bedroom it has the best lighting ever like it has two windows that bring in so much lights and breeze like fresh air there's a wardrobe there's the same mirror that is on the We have the same mirror that is on the other bedroom, the bed, and yeah. Good morning from Dalai Salaam. It is around 11 a.m. in the morning, right? Yep, yep. It's 11. Uh, we're just leaving the house and one of the things I was excited about in Dalai Salaam, Dar es Salaam is using the BRT. We are currently at the BRT, BRT road. I don't know what the road is called, but we were going to that station over there and we found it close, so we are walking to the next BRT station to get a BRT bus to take us to the city center or rather to the central station where we will be like we will explore the city like from there. But what we want to do right now in this video is show you the BRT as we use it ourselves and explore it and experience it. And with me is Anthony. Anthony and Benson, my team. So come with us. I'm hoping you will enjoy this video and please give it a thumbs up. Little did we know the unexpected turn our day would take. 
The anticipation and excitement we had while filming the PRC project soon turned into disappointment when on reaching our next stop, all the footage was deleted by the guards who demanded permit we didn't possess. Undeterred, we decided to make the most of our still valid tickets and hopped on another BRT blue bus, this time bound for Ubongo, the BRT HQ. Our aim? To meet the officials who would grant us the permission to capture the BRT project on camera. Arriving in Ubongo, we were met with warm reception, but instead of the much-needed permit, we were redirected to the HR office in Jangwani. They were really nice and even gave us a ride to the HR office in Jangwani. However, the bureaucracy we encountered at the HR office left us disheartened. The process required to obtain the permit seemed more like a test of endurance rather than a straightforward procedure. We knew it was time for us to find plan B for our day. I apologize in advance for all audio hindrances. I was trying to be discreet with the camera and so I ended up blocking the microphone. A TV generator. Um, hi guys. It's it's currently around two one thirty two. We spent the first part of the morning looking for a permit to film the BRT project which we were not successful. Not because they didn't give us the permit but because the process is too long. We write letters, take it to UDAT, write another letter, take it to the BRT office in Jangwani and we are not here for that long. So that's a project I really wanted to do but since I'm not here for that long, I don't think it's wise for me to spend so much time. Like the first half of the day today is gone. Spend so much time looking for the permit, you know, like the whole, a whole three days of my, my vacation will be about looking for a permit to do one video. I'll still do the BRT video because it's something I really want to do and because it's a project that was started back in my country but was never completed, I will still do it but I might not be able to film the inside or even the station. Anyway, this is the first day, this is my first day, this is our first day rather of being in Dar es Salaam and we are starting, we've come from We've come from Jangwani here using the BRT, BRT bus, the blue buses, but right now we are here. The agenda for today is to look for SIM cards. We still do not have SIM cards. I have been offline all day. Look for SIM cards, explore, explore the city a bit, and then the other thing is look for food, lunch. We have not eaten since we since breakfast. We only had breakfast and it's already lunch time. So we look for lunch. So currently we are at this beach. What did he say the name of this beach is? Um, Karibusana. Something like that I will ask. But this is the Twin Tower. Uh, there is the ferries that go to Zanzibar. Right over there. The one that is written Kilimanjaro. Uh, if we get a chance if we get a chance we will we will go closer to the ferries i'm not sure if they will allow us to film to be honest i am a bit um scared of filming in Dar es Salaam. people are not that friendly to the camera somebody harassed me yesterday i was in my tuk-tuk um wish me a good day i really want to show you our experience and also explore with you guys around Dar es Salaam. It has been a challenging start, but I'm hoping the day is going to be, it's going to end better. I'm hoping to have a more successful ending of the day. And there's another ferry over there. That ferry goes to... To Kigamboni. Hello. Oh, so that ferry moves from... To Vuke. In Alipiwa. If filming is allowed, then uh, what do you have a problem with? 
like taking photos and the... so from here mm. because they have a military area mm. so mm. that is the military and mm. it's not allowed but when you go to the side uh, what is in Kigamboni? Kigamboni is a peninsula and there's a, a local people. A lot of people walk in the city, living there because life is cheaper more than the city. Mm -hmm. oh. uh, then a lot of uh, tourists, they live in there because it's quiet, and uh -huh. a clean beach, a lot of hotels. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, historical place. Historical? Yeah, historical place, yes. You've done all these amais there, kids? Yeah, so we are, like I was telling you, uh -huh. we are a group of artists. Okay. Artists, yeah. So yeah. Two different artists, arts. So, like me, I do this. Yes, a different style. You can touch it. This is canva. yeah, canvas. Canvas. Canvas, and you mix with the glue and uh, oil paintings. Ah, it's beautiful. Yes, it's very this beautiful. One, you use a brush. Use okay. a brush. Yeah, this one you use a spatula knife. Yeah. Knife? A spatula knife. Okay. Yes, uh, like a Picasso style. Mm. Yes, uh, this is the Kilimanjaro mountain, and this is a Kasha tree. This was uh, uh, only one tree, it would help us, like a medicine tree, when we would have a COVID time. Oh. Yes, that's why we didn't have lockdown. We take Did it help? Yes, we take the leaf and roots, boiling together, you mix with the ginger and lemon. Okay. Every morning you drink warm water, wear the mask, wash your hand, zero distance, go to work. Because our government it was tell us, Magufuli, you know Magufuli? Of course, yes. Yes, uh, he no, was tell us, yeah? yeah? A lot of people in Tanzania is a, a local people, it's a poor people. Mm -hmm. So when they put uh, people in a lockdown, a lot of people, they're gonna die because of hunger. Hunger, yeah. Yes, yeah, not about COVID. Mm -hmm. So we decided, okay, some people, they're gonna die because of COVID, but some people, they're gonna stay alive. That's why we didn't have lockdown. This is beautiful. I love it. Yeah, the only one country in Africa. Yeah. In the world, actually. In the world. In the world. So, so apparently all this art is by different artists. This is my first student. Yeah. Our yes, hello. Students. Hey, Mambo. Oh. Yeah. He, he was using drugs and he was my first student to collect from the children. So he was an artist? Yeah, now he's a good artist. Yeah, he's a good artist. He's a good artist. Kenya, Nairobi. Welcome so much. Asante sana. Karibu sana. Yeah, that is what we do. So, so this is Hakuna Matata, Matata Beach. Rasta also has a shop here, an arts shop. Over here, it's colorful. It's very colorful. Him and him, they was uh, first uh, people from the street who they was using drugs. But now they quit to use the drugs, and now they do like this. So right now we will be walking around. We are looking for SIM cards because we need internet bundles we need to make calls mm -hmm. 
There's a place we can eat here. Okay, what is it? Copret. English. English. We are walking around looking for SIM cards mm. and no one seems to sell any so we will so we will walk until 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 the place where we'll see someone who we selling them on the streets or on a shop I'm a I don't know. I'm a fan of my Four points by Sheraton. So we landed on the street where these twin towers and so we decided to get closer to have a closer view of the twin tower, one of the tallest buildings in the region. NSSF Towers Na food, na food. 
This is the building we were seeing from the beach because I had filmed it from far from on the beach. Oh, it's not it's not an SSF, it's PSSSF. Kamukoni. So this is not the tallest building in Da yet. Which one? Eh? It's not the tallest because si bena likuwa ni onesha ingine janati it's the tallest. How many floors? The twin towers. So what is in this building? When we got here, we realized that we had just gone around the buildings that were surrounding that place and we came back to the same point where we were at the beach. Here is another tall building. And this, this is the place where people get ferries to go to Zanzibar. There are different companies that offer the ferries they could see that cross people over from Dar es Salaam all the way to Zanzibar Island. I filmed a very long clip, but I realized I did not press play. Um, so this is where we get. This is where to get uh, ferries to Zanzibar. There is this, this Kilimanjaro. There is. The something the first than first express and there's another one over here so if we were going to Azam if we were going to if we were going to Zanzibar this is where we would get the ferries but we are not going to Zanzibar we're just exploring the city anyway yeah there, there are a lot of people here coming to to get the ferries it's quite a busy area Zanfast Ferris. <laughs> Ministry of Works and Transport. The Twin Towers are so cute, so beautiful. So this is 
Water plantains. I've noticed they are quite common here. So right now we are walking towards the Tanzanian Tanzania's SGR. If you if you look up there, you will see the um, the railway line where it passes, and then right there, that's the SGR station. Ben, Tony, that's the SGR station. Yeah. They building in Akani Kamai to me. Mm. It looks like a huge abandoned building. two hours we need to find some food right yep we are super hungry we are super hungry we need to find some food and also uh, i think as well the frustration of what we were facing in the morning yeah yeah that one is a bit to it because uh, we were told we cannot uh, feel One officer, then you've been sent to another one. You know, uh, I wish they would have a compiled list of things that you're supposed to have uh, and where you're supposed to go, and because uh, we are needed to do what? And then sort of send an email or a letter. A letter, like yes. a written letter. And yes. also, you need, like, people, the person you're supposed to see, you're not just going to, to look for people blindly. Yeah, because you don't even like, know exactly where. Anyway, yeah, we could not really get into the SDR station video. because it's still a construction in, in its last stages SDR of testing, and it then it will be operational very soon. It looks very, very, very. So very we modern. had to have a look at it, have a view of it and from outside.
they do it so nicely. Marane. Here I'm in a struggle, Kukula. We'll be going home using a dala dala, which is a matatu sort of. This is the this is the station. But first, we need to look for some food. Okay, so, so this will be seven thousand, seven thousand five hundred for the, the packaging. Same to Ben, same to Tony. Oh, Mondokasi no BRT. Hey, Mondokasi. Mondokasi. Kasi, yeah. Hey, because it's even in Babylon, I say I'm still in Yes. So, we were to, we were to get Dala Dala, which is this, to Magomeni, where we are staying. But we don't have direct Dala Dalas that are going there. So, we'll have, we've decided to get, um, what is this called? Mwendokasi, which is the BRC, to to get us to where we are going, and I can see the police. Food. Wow. We've done. Wow. We've basically done everything that we were supposed to do today, and now we're looking for transportation back home. BRT is a no-go zone. Like the queue, we give ourselves at least two hours for you to get a BRT, for you to get the blue buses. We're looking for a bajaji, which is, which is these tuk-tuks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We are looking for a tuk-tuk, uh, also known as Bajaji here, to take us over there. We were trying to base our price on on bolts, bolts prices, but the drivers won't accept that price. So 
We are walking around looking for something. Yeah? I think I'm going to get a bag. I'm going to home guys it's around what time is it Ben it's 5 40 p.m. it's 5 40 p.m. Um, we bought lunch come dinner because they don't see us going to get more food so I have this is soup this is beef 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 yes. stew and rice mine is I think that's pilau pilauish rice it's not the pilau the that you know it is the pilau it is pilau in that I, it looks like yours yeah. yes that we change we change and then so to take like, uh, pilau rice moja yote we change eh yeah, us cuz we wanted the other one oh take wa yetu oh oh so this is pilau chicken I am curious to know how this chicken tastes. Mm -hmm. But and then, the soup is really nice. And then some soup. Ben mm -hmm. And Ben has the same. No, Ben has like Tony's. Yes. Yeah, so this is going to be dinner. Um, yeah, that's basically it. It was a very interesting day. We, we had a whole plan of how this day was going to go and nothing went according to plan, nothing, including like filming the BRC, but we are grateful the day was successful. We did a lot within the day and now we are home. Now I just have a lot of videos to edit, but I'm grateful. Thank you for watching to this point. Um, please make sure to subscribe. Please let me know what you think in the comments section. I want to know your, I would love to know your thoughts. And let's end the vlog here. See you in another one. Bye. Bye.